Uh, Madam Speaker, we've been talking about this intent section for a while here with these amendments. And this particular amendment, Madam Speaker, addresses a section of the overall intent. You know, Madam Speaker, as a good gentleman said from the 21st, I couldn't agree with him more. We need to have a clear intent section so we get it right. And we heard the good gentleman from the 19th talk about that, about the words that are used. Madam Speaker, I've written a lot of intent sections. I'm sure you have too, Madam Speaker. Well, we are describing what the bill is going to do. And I, Madam Speaker, feel that this just goes too far. It's inaccurate in so many ways that I see. But Madam Speaker, the key or the piece that really strikes me is what the gentlelady from the 25th just talked about. The final statement that is in this, in this particular section that we're asking to be removed. Madam Speaker, may I read? Please proceed. Thank you. Madam Speaker, it says that in a manner that overtly appeals to troubled young men intent on becoming the next mass shooter. Madam Speaker, I believe that that is a subjective value judgment masquerading as a statement of fact. I believe, Madam Speaker, that as we look at this and this amendment, what it does is takes out some pieces in there that I believe are not accurate to the underlying policy. We leave the rest, but Madam Speaker, this particular amendment does exactly that, and that's why I'm asking for a yes.